am so freaking obsessed with fake tanning, so I wanted to share with you my tips and tricks on how I create a flawless, natural tan. So let's get straight into it. One of the worst things about fake tanning is removing the old tan, but I've honestly found the best thing that has saved my life. So this is the LFX Tanning Removing Mitt. I literally got this from Mecca for $13 and holy crap, best purchase ever. Hands down has made my tanning routine so much better. Now onto the actual tanning process. So I use the Bondi Sands One Hour Express and then I pair it with the LFX Tanning Mitt. This is a great quality mitt because it's double sided and actually doesn't snap. I've tried Bondi Sands ones in the past, not a fan, but this one is a vibe. So to apply, I literally just do one limb at a time always focusing on the hands as well because I usually wash that off maybe about half an hour after otherwise I find that my hands are two different colors but I go around in little circular motions and just do it bit by bit so that I can make sure that I'm getting everything then when it comes to my face I just do this with the leftover tan on the mitt and I find that that is the best way Excuse the bed hair, but I just woke up about an hour ago, so I'm just going to be getting in the shower and I'm going to wash off the tan. Just going to show you what it looks like slightly before I get in the shower. Also, I think there's like a line on my face where it came off. My hands are a little bit dark, so I'm just going to wash them. Honestly, it doesn't take long to get off your hands either, so that's why I sort of put it on my hands and then wash them a little bit earlier. So this is how the tan is looking at the moment. So far, pretty good. I'm not really concerned sometimes when I have like a little bit of patchiness because then usually I get get in the shower and then it is all good so we're gonna do that and then we're gonna pop on a gradual tanning moisturizer and I will show you which one I'm using in a second now my next tip is when you get straight out of the shower make sure that you are literally just towel drying your skin so what I mean by that is literally just pat it dry this prevents so many freaking streaks I used to get that problem on my legs having like you know that water drip down look but ever since getting in the shower for like a literal lukewarm two minute shower rinse it off and when I'm in the shower I just tap my skin like this so that it's not removing the tan then I jump straight out and I literally just pat myself dry I don't let the water just like soak on my skin so make sure that you are quick and you get to the point of just towel drying yourself off the next step is to go in with a daily tanning moisturizer so this one's from Luna bronze and this does make you super bronze so I just wanted to show you before and after now this does take about six hours to work we are now out of the shower and the tanning moisturizer is on. I probably shouldn't be going to the gym straight after putting that tanning moisturizer on. But this time I didn't drown myself in it so I feel like I can actually go to the gym and it's not really going to make a difference. So I pretty much literally just got it all over my body except for like on my stomach area. Which is quite good because I know that I do sweat underneath this sports bra and stuff when I go. So I'm just going to chuck deodorant on, head to the gym, go for a walk. And this um, tanning moisturizer usually takes about six hours to gradually tan. But I'm going to show you a close up of what the tan is looking like please excuse my body I have so many random bruises I also clearly slept like this last night and then I must have sweated and now it's like that but it's okay you can't really tell so this is what the tan looks like it came out amazingly I'm super happy with it and I usually like to put it on a day before I like to get really dark because it will develop darker today and then tomorrow as well so it's gonna be fresh for the weekend I slightly feel like I'm fighting off a cold which is not a vibe I've got lots of content that I want to smash out today and a lot of fitness goals and also personal things that are going like events and stuff that are going on so I really hope that I can like do everything eat well smash my water smash the tablets and not get sick so let's crack on with the day I need to film an intro and outro for this video with all of my tips and stuff so I hope so far you've been enjoying the video it's a little bit more of like a vlog style one which I almost like I feel like it's more realistic like actually showing you what I'm doing rather than being like a b c d so yeah I need to stop rambling and I need to go so I will speak to you guys very soon bye and here we have the end result. So my tan has now fully developed and I also still have the tanning moisturizer on. So it is currently the next day. So I have put it on last night and then this is how we wake up. I feel like it looks super natural. It doesn't look too over the top and this will last me quite a few days. So I would say from the five to seven day mark, depending on how often I'm moisturizing. If you don't have a gradual tanning moisturizer, just do a regular moisturizer. I'm going to be trying out the Bondi Sands one next or if you have any other 
other relatively affordable um, fake tanning bronzing creams to use every day. Please let me know in the comments below because I am searching for a new one. I actually do really like the Luna one, which I didn't think that I did, but I get so many compliments on my skin after wearing it and it looks super dark. So I feel like I would buy it again, but just for the price point, I'm not exactly sure. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye!